course, it was recently Valentine's Day. What's the most romantic thing that you've done for Suzanne, Carl, that you can think of? Uh, I, I don't really do all that. So, uh, Valentine's Day stuff? It's just... The problem is, if you do it once, they expect it every year. Yeah, that's sure. That's the problem with Christmas and stuff, isn't it? It's like, it's become, that's what you do now, every <laughs> year. Every day, yeah, yeah. So I prefer to just sort of wait, you know what I mean? And, and you know, if I think of an idea or I know of something that she wants, I might get her something, but I might not do it on Valentine's Day. It's that thing, it's like how I've, I've said about Pancake Tuesday. Make it Pancake Wednesday. Have it when you want. Why yeah. am I waiting? Why am I waiting for someone to tell me when I can have a pancake? I'll have it today if I want one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's Pancake Tuesday. No, I won't bother. I'll have trifle. So, <laughs> so it's the same same with this. You know, with Suzanne. Um, luckily, right? I mean Valentine's Day and what have you. She was uh, she was ill. Luckily. So we didn't we didn't have to go out. So I'd say, is he asking for advice? Well, I suppose yeah. Certainly, you may as well give it. Treat them when they deserve it. <laughs> all right. I remember uh, once when Suzanne was ill, she had a fever, but there was no food in the house. What did you suggest to her? She was too ill. To well, cook. it was it was when we were still living in Manchester and that, and uh, you know uh, we needed to get some food in for tea and stuff. And uh, I said, "Come on, come to the supermarket." She was like, "No, I'm ill. You go." And I ate buying food. I just sort of get a bit blank when I'm looking at it. There's too much, isn't there? That's the problem. You go down all these aisles and there's just too much. So anyway, I said, no, come on, come with me. She was like, oh, but I've got this fever, I'm hot and everything. So I said, well, come to the supermarket, you go on the frozen aisle, cool yourself down. <laughs> and she did, and she said, you know, it made it worse, she was ill for another three days.